years, uh, distinguished colleagues, before we begin our presentation of the synthesis report, I would like to give a short summary of the preparatory phase. Through the Talanoa Dialogue, Fiji has introduced the Pacific concept of Talanoa, a process of storytelling for the common good, into the UNFCCC process and to the world of international climate diplomacy more broadly. It has created an inclusive and positive atmosphere for the exchange of experiences and ideas in support of the global effort to increase ambition to achieve the long-term goal of the Paris Agreement. As you are aware, and in line with the COP21 decision for the convening of a facilitative dialogue in 2018, the Talanoa Dialogue was launched at COP23. And since then, Fiji and Poland have been working closely together to jointly lead this global process of taking stock, sharing information and ideas, and listening to and learning from each other. Throughout the preparatory phase, we addressed three questions. Where are we? Where do we want to go? And how do we get there? We're very proud to see how widely and rapidly the Talanoa spirit and the Talanoa approach have spread around the globe. Parties and non-party stakeholders have engaged in the process in a number of ways by participating in the Talanoas we held in Bonn in May, by organizing Talanoas at the regional, national, and local levels, by submitting inputs, and even by engaging in campaigns on social media. Let me provide you with a few numbers and examples that show just how broad, diverse, and impactful this engagement has been. The official website of the Talanoa Dialogue, which we call the Talanoa Platform, was launched on 10 January this year. As of today, a total of 482 inputs have been submitted, 49 from parties and 433 from non-party stakeholders. In May, during the meeting of the subsidiary bodies, we heard from a total of 305 storytellers, 207 of which were from parties and 98 from non-party stakeholders, who together shared 474 stories in response to the three questions of the dialogue. But excellencies, distinguished colleagues, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Throughout the year, parties and non-party stakeholders organized a great number of regional, national, and local events. A total of more than 90 events officially associated themselves with the Talanoa Dialogue and were added to the platform's calendar. But we know that many more than this actually took place. In fact, I encourage you to visit the COP23 presidency website and view the interactive map we have created to see just how widely the Talanoa spirit has spread. Talanoas were organized by regional groups. Talanoas were held by states, regions, cities, and local governments. Talanoas were held between companies and their customers. Talanoas were held by youth networks and student groups. And I hope you agree with us that this amazing level of engagement and active participation is in itself a great achievement of the dialogue. And the Talanoa Dialogue has created a space to share stories, build empathy and trust, and inspire action. And we would like to sincerely thank all participants for the valuable contributions. And to give you a small impression of the spirit and richness of these exchanges, we'd like to show you a short video that was produced during the Talanoa Dialogue in May. Talanoa is something that we have never done. And it's also affording an opportunity for everyone to listen to each other because no one has all the answers and only together can we find common solutions. Hello, um, I'm from Ghana in West Africa. My name is Jose Di Bella. I'm here representing Parlamericas. I'm Isabel Di Carlo and representing Venezuela. 
What I'd like to do today is share with you a story of one of our communities. I have a story of a farming community that has been heavily impacted on by climate change. We are building now a city the size of Paris each week. We really want to uh, rise to the occasion and increase our ambition. So where we are is eco-villages offer a solution to climate resiliency. Everything is very much local. Local farmers learning from local people to use local resources for themselves to achieve food security, women's empowerment and feed their families. Companies are really beginning to align with the Paris Agreement in their long-term strategies and because we really believe that we can be stronger if we join forces. And where we'd like to go is a world in 2030 where we can meet our climate objectives, where we're on track for a well below two degree trajectory. All sources of energy could be coming from renewable sources. For me, as a woman that comes from diverse community, it's very important um, in terms of climate action that we include diverse models of uh, knowledge. As IKEA, we have a target that we would like to generate as much renewable energy as we consume. Align development goals with the climate issues. This is the Chinese concept of building actually a community for share the future for mankind. How do we get there? We're going to plant 5 million trees across the country so that it is much cooler, we have more rain, we have more cleaner atmosphere, we have less flooding and less erosion. We need enabling environments, we need to have resolve at the level of public, encouraged by the politicians. It is by updating national legislation, by bringing in the parliaments to work closely with the national governments. Positive feedback between action by governments and other actors. We need uh, to highlight local actions and we also uh, need to increase and keep engaging in this um, Talanoa dialogue. We need the scientists, we need the policy makers and we need communities on the ground to talk to each other. Investors are asking governments to improve the system which allows everyone to report on their climate related financial information. We go there by involving everybody. To be able to get to the Paris goals it is important that we do what we know we can do today and not wait at all. To go ahead and take a second leave of faith and go for the decarbonization of the economy. And we would like to continue very successful experience of the Talanoa dialogue. It is a dialogue that has as the main purpose to get people together to understand each other, to learn from each other's realities, to learn from each other's stories.